the gas station a nice and expensive place and the supercharger a nice and cheap place and there's even a model x and there's a lego with an audi charging huh the painful a lego reality not even a week ago both of these high power chargers were functional and five days later only one is still working luckily we got a supercharger here and a jaguar what do you think am i parked in the right spot i think so but maybe not all tesla drivers will agree with me and i don't want to upset anybody of course I think what am i hearing that is of course the a lego charging sound because over here the actual charging is going on and I think this is the EFA check setup yes it is but this is the actual supercharger data my opinion where we have the sign here with the Tesla supercharger what if they just put an extra charger here so I can use it well then people would argue that I'm still blocking that spot of course mm. but at least yeah I wouldn't be using those two chargers over there I would just be using this one over here and all the, these slots would still be free so before arriving I tried to do as much high speed as I could and I also of course put all the heating on so we're back here with seven kilowatt hours seven kilowatt hours in the battery or 34 kilometers of range what do we see nine percent what do you say shall I charge shall I try and charge without the lights first and then turn them on I didn't notice this last week I spoke with the Model X owner he was wondering when there would be charging queues here anyway I didn't notice this last week but it was probably already there but it says a temporary pilot to better understand the needs video cameras have been installed for markets market research to track the customers wow they're blurring the drivers well 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 and you can of course contact them to speak about it and there's a QR code as you can see I arrive with 9% after driving pretty fast where possible and you can see there's still seven kilowatt hours in the battery according to power cruise control welcome to the Tesla supercharger aim Ness back at V3 here next to the van der Valk restaurant and there are only two Teslas charging up and I arrived with the gold digger the Jaguar seven kilowatt hours it still has let's find my Tesla app and start the show charge your non Tesla side details aim Ness so here I am stall 2b still 24 cents per kilowatt hour okay that should be ready to rock and roll plugging in the eye base let's see what happens initializing it says aha uh -huh, I already heard the click it is charging there's a model 3 leaving still says connecting here 
yes 81 kilowatts so I'm not surprised because that is ah what is to be expected no actually 97 let's see how long this holds the Audi is leaving the Allego charger so the one high power charger here is now available again if you bring the Taycan that is your fastest bet and the Tesla app agrees now that the connection is back it says 80 kilowatts that's not good enough for me so I'm gonna unplug immediately and show you a trick so I have to get out my key as to actually unplug the Jaguar and now I will show you so the hazard lights are on as you can see we're at 15 percent the battery is nice and warm because we already did a short session from nine or so percent for one euro 20. let's try this again so we're still at stall 2b i will start to charge for 24 cents per kilowatt hour plugging in alarm lights on so what happened is the usual throttle happened and this is a Jaguar thing have some kind of battery arrangement with LG and the battery arrangement says that this car shouldn't charge it over 80 kilowatts for longer time to save the battery but there's a trick if you put on these beautiful hazard lights then the Jaguar goes into turbo mode and that is what I'm hoping to prove to you now but it's actually not happening that is painful so the trick is not working I restarted the charging session at 15% and it is not charging at 100 kilowatts not at all so yeah I uh, don't know what to say maybe I should have done this from the very beginning I thought I would but then I thought it would be nicer to prove that this could work I don't know if it matters that I now restarted at 15% so it wasn't below 10% which I prefer um, but it's just not going up anymore the throttle is real 18% 26 degrees in the battery 80 kilowatt charging power how do you like the view one Jaguar one Tesla V3 Amnes another Tesla who wasn't fast charging many Teslas are over there at the AC chargers of which there are plenty Allego has one working high power charger and a classic triple over there and here you find the Jaguar using a V3 stall that it doesn't really need I could have gone to the V2 but I thought it would be more interesting to try out this place because it actually has less stalls than the V2 at Breukelen uh, so it matters more where you put your vehicle and the thing is that as soon as I would have put it here which would have been easily possible um, yeah I would be blocking one stall considering if there is another Tesla coming in of course if this whole line gets filled by Jaguars everybody can just have their charge no matter how you exactly park it it's very easy to use all these chargers as long as somebody uses this one in the way I am showing here then um, yeah that is not really an issue now of course I am helped by the fact that this Allego charger is not working today because otherwise I would be at least making maneuvering a little bit more difficult um, and then there's also this parking lot if you can call it that uh, so obviously all these Tesla chargers are easily reached from this side 
uh, even though you can already see that when it gets busy in this meeting spot at the restaurant there where many people rent rooms or have conferences and everything it could be that all of the chargers are blocked from this side as well if parking gets more popular so yeah your mileage may vary the thing is that all these model threes here also thanks to the idle fees and such they move in and out so quickly i've seen several teslas come and go in the short time i've been here charging up just a little bit for the fun of it for the testing purposes only and uh, yeah it's probably already time to go yeah i got 26 kilowatt hours more than enough slightly over the 80 kilowatt speed let's stop look 82 kilowatts according to the tesla app Ta-da! four euros and i'll show you what you have to do with the jaguar unfortunately it locks the plug so i had to use the keys to actually unlock it thank you very much tesla see you next time with a new vehicle welcome to red letter gold digger i paste today i tried the hazard light trick unfortunately it didn't work this was definitely not due to the tesla chargers but probably just battery temperature which should have been above 30 degrees maybe next time but uh, tesla charging with the jaguar no problemo